Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Independent Sensi Consultant with you again today. And just a quick what I've been warming, it's not a lot, uh, but I have some stuff I wanna go over with you really quick. So um, I made it through a package of cotton cleanups. Um, like I showed you, I included some in some customer um, mailings that I was doing. So um, used up some of those um, in doing that. Um, I worked on some great combinations I'm going to tell you about. So um, I did a combination of um, blueberry cheesecake and almond croissant, which um, was like a blueberry muffin. Um, a customer of mine, well, my friend, um, she also tried it, said it was fantastic. She needed to buy more. So, um, and I finally in my whiff box got my blueberry or my blueberry cheesecake had an almond croissant I tried it it was fantastic it was like a blueberry muffin Dale when he came in he also was like oh my gosh that's a great combination um so we really enjoyed that it was strong it was gorgeous I highly recommend it um also I tried a combination I'm about this close to taking this one out of my club the only thing that makes seriously she hasn't peeped all day long I've only been talking for a minute, but um, I'm seriously considering taking this one out of my club. And the fact that it was um, one of the top 20 in Bring Back My Bar was like, are you serious right now? <laughs> um, I love it, but it's not a good performer. It's not. It smells um, banana berry. Smells like banana pudding. And that, for that reason, I love it. The only way that I get a good performance from it is when I mix it with Havana Cabana. So part of me is thinking, do I really want to have like, you know, a wax bar that I have to use with another wax um, just to get it to perform? I don't know. Um, so I'm strongly, strongly considering taking this out of my club. The hour or two that it's going, it smells fantastic, but I cannot get this to perform when I mix it with anything other than Cabana, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Havana Cabana. But I mixed banana berry with sugared strawberry thinking I would get the banana too and like some berry. No, um, they both died. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I wasn't impressed with this mix. I don't recommend it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I honestly, as much as I love banana berry, I'm going to have to meld it again with Havana Cabana to see if I really care enough to keep this in my Scentsy Club because I don't think I do. Like I'm getting frustrated with that one. Um, so have fun with that. <laughs> Those who voted it back because I don't think you're going to be real excited about that, but I kind of want to keep the sticker off the um, almond croissant because that's like the cutest sticker <laughs> or cutest artwork. Um, so, oh, my jerk bird. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why she does that. Um, it's hard to talk over her when she does that. So I made samples in, um, the vanilla blackberry. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's a good performer. It lasts days. Like I came in day two and from work and was like, that still smells really good. Like, I can't take it out yet. Um, it's a good performer. Um, it's got, like, this really rich note to it. Um, that comes off slightly sharp um, that I think might bother some people. I don't mind it. Dale enjoyed it. What doesn't Dale love? Most things he really likes. Same with me. Um, I like it. It still reminds me of Clearly Canadian. Um, they had a flavored water that I used to love, like a sparkling water, and it was blackberry, and it would smell so perfume-like when you would drink it, and it just tasted good. For that reason, I think that's why I like this, but um, another friend customer of mine um, tried, well, sniffed the sample of vanilla blackberry and didn't care for it, so... I definitely think it's a deep, rich berry, blackberry note um, that some may love, some may hate. I enjoyed it, and that's really super cute packaging. 
Um, but I can understand that some people might not love that sharp, deep berry note. Um, so I also made it through um, the rest of cashmere and corduroy um, from the new um, new releases for the new catalog. I just love this on cold. Absolutely crazy about it. When it's warm, it has a note in it. Um, almost like a floral perfume that comes out that wasn't as spectacular when it's cold, but I, stu I still really, really enjoy this one. Um, I'll be anxious to hear more people talk about it. Like, because I only had three cubes left over from the samples I was making, so I put this in my bedroom in my Polar Panorama warmer, which is now a warmer <laughs> as of today um, that you can buy. And also my um, Diamond Milk Glass. I think that warmer is $30. It's an element warmer. It's amazing. It's white. It goes with everything. It's just so pretty cold. Um, and I, I can't put my finger on what that note is that comes out when it's warming more. Um, that I think it's probably the same thing in, um, cozy cash. No, cozy cardigan <laughs> that, um, I'm just like, eh, it's okay. <sighs> trying to, trying to think of what it is, if it's amber or, um, I don't think it's the amber. I really like, like I have two perfumes here, you guys. <laughs> one is amber and one is sandalwood. I really like the amber one. It's like sweet and pretty. Um, it's the sandalwood one that I'm like, I like it, but it's a little soapy, um, powdery. So I, I like the mix together. Um, I don't know, there's just, I, I absolutely still love it on cold. And it's not that I dislike it at all. I just, there's something in it that I'm like, hmm. Um, like it's not my absolute favorite when it's melted, but I do still really enjoy it. Um, if that even made any sense at all. Um, I also put um, tinselberry, like three cubes of tinselberry that I'd left over. I love this. I love everything about it. There's a female cardinal. Hi. <laughs> Eating at the bird feeder and she's like staring at me. This is definitely 100%, even when it's melting, um, like cinnamon taffy, like cinnamon pooled taffy, like homemade taffy pulled. It's like cinnamon taffy or like cinnamon strawberry taffy, if that even makes sense. It's so good. You've got the candy-like note, but you also have that red hot cinnamon this rose to the top for me is one of my all-time favorites like i'm crazy about it crazy like it, it actually soared above cashmere and corduroy for me when it's melting but you guys i missed um fall winter spices and cinnamon and i'm i'm crazy in love with red hot cinnamon i love this so much <laughs> It's one of my all-time favorites. I can't wait to buy more. It's spectacular. Um, I also melted the rest of, um, I wanna say here comes the sunflower, scarlet sunflowers. This is so good. It's, it's got like this um, perfume kind of note to it, but it's also very like fruity. It's, it's delightful. I actually really love this melting more, again, than cashmere and corduroy. Um, it's just so pretty. It's definitely like a body care perfume. Um, it's not like an obnoxious, like old lady kind of perfume, um, which I love, but it's, so for those who think here, I mean, if you like Here Comes the Sunflowers, I think you'll really like this. And I hate to compare it to that because it's different. Um, 
it's very very like body care to me and then like these warm spicy just lightly spicy though kind of like cider mill spicy it's like that warm yummy fruit oh it's so good i really love um scarlet sunflower highly recommend that i love the packaging look at the packaging how cute <laughs> um and I also melted the rest of the three cubes is what I have left over from every single one of these. Um, pomegranate Prosecco, still in the bottom for me. It's still not my favorite. It still gives me um, Very Blessed vibes and I like Very Blessed more. But whatever's in Very Blessed, it's got that note in it. Um, and when it's melting, you still kind of, it's, it's the struggle that I have with pomegranate and I don't get this from jeweled pomegranate. So if you have the straight, same struggle with pomegranate as I do, please try jeweled pomegranate because the raspberry in that makes the, the, the pomegranate so rich and beautiful, but perfectly pomegranate. I hate it. I hate it. It smells like fake cherry chapstick. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't like, perfectly pomegranate. For the life of me, I can't figure out why it's in a brick in Scentsy Club. I can't figure out why everybody loves it. <laughs> like, I just, I don't like perfectly pomegranate. So that pomegranate in that perfectly pomegranate is the same pomegranate and pomegranate Prosecco. It's like you took perfectly, pomegranate Prosecco reminds me of Very Blessed and um, maybe even Cloudberry Dreams. Because to me, they're similar, but there is a difference if you smell them side by side. So maybe mm, it's more, it's, it's like, it's like you took, okay. So it's like you combined and there is a slightly effervescent note. So it's like you took very blessed, perfectly pomegranate and, um, Ursula. I, I get the same vibes from this that I get from Ursula too but I like Ursula I think because it's more of a blue raspberry weird berry <laughs> like um I consider it the goji berry that I'm picking up um so I I don't know how to describe it other than it just reminds me of mixing it's got vibes from very blessed. It's got vibes from perfectly pomegranate. I do pick up the fake cherry chapstick in this, but it's also got the goji berry vibes from Ursula, if that's helpful. I don't know. It's still at the bottom. Why I like very blessed and Ursula over this? Probably because the fake cherry chapstick perfectly pomegranate smell comes out. And I think that's why I don't like this. There is a tiny bumblebee outside. And you guys, his little bum is so cute. <laughs> his little fuzzy bumblebee bum. All right, I'm sorry, he's very distracting. So he has the cutest little bum ever. He's in the flower. Anyways, because um, we have morning glories that, that bloom out there. Anyways, but um, so I still don't love pomegranate Prosecco. I'll probably get another bar and melt the whole bar just to see. I'll probably feel the same way. <laughs> um, I also made it through um, Cars Radiator Springs. I do really like this. Dale loved it. It's citrus. Of course he loved it. Um, I don't know. I don't know cherry limeade. I don't. For the life of me, I have no idea what, I, what, what people are talking about. And it probably, I don't know if it'll come back and bring back my bar. No clue. We'll find out August 12th. But it reminds me of Be Fabulous, except I, I still like Be Fabulous more. I'm probably considering taking this one out of my club because Be Fabulous is so strong. Be Fabulous is like, I think this is grapefruit too. It's grapefruit and limoncello. And I think this is like cherry and grapefruit. I don't know. I smell a lemon. <laughs> Must be the grapefruit. I don't as much smell the cherry. I don't know. It's just, it's nice, but it just reminds me so much of Be Fabulous. And I'm so in love with Be Fabulous that 
probably gonna take this one on my club. I have two more bars and I think I'm okay with that. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's strong for the first few hours. I don't know if it lasts all day, but what citrus scents really do. Um, I don't know, it's okay. I don't know, I might save the sticker. Um, and I also went through Aladdin, Three Wishes. I love it. It reminds me of Berry Bright. Um, it's like Berry Bright with something. It's like Berry Blight, Berry Blight? <laughs> berry Bright and Blueberry. Maybe a little bubble gum. <laughs> I don't know why I get that like powdery bubble gum. Like if you were to lick a stick, <laughs> if you were to lick a stick of bubble gum, that powder, not chew the bubble gum, just lick the powder off the bubble gum. I don't know, it sounds weird, but it's got that like slight powdery bubble gum note with like blueberry and berry bright. I think it's fantastic. It was a great performer um, <laughs> because banana berry and, um, Sugar strawberry didn't last at all. <laughs> like they killed each other. Um, I think like a couple hours, I'm like, seriously, I can't, I'm like, okay, here goes Aladdin. But I woke up this morning and um, yeah, I could kind of still smell it, but I just was like, okay, time to change the wax. Like, I mean, it wasn't like in your face strong. It's, it's beautiful. I, I love it. I highly recommend trying it because it really is a good one. Um, it's, it's great for summer. I also finished Spiced Ember Glow. I'm the Cinnamon Bear Girl. Um, I absolutely, I, my apologies for my sharp, noisy bird. I don't know why she's doing that. Uh, literally, like it's only because I'm talking. If she was here beside me, she wouldn't be doing that. But um, Spiced Ember Glow, I love, it's literally, just like I said cold, it's literally like a cinnamon candied apple. I want a whole bar of it. I mean, it has like a slight smoky note. It's like you ate um, a cinnamon candied apple and it's almost got like this slightly charred note, like maybe the cinnamon candied stuff maybe cooked a little too long, but it's gorgeous. I 100% feel like I'm eating a cinnamon candied apple. I love it. I love everything about it. Um, I think it's fantastic. I actually enjoy the teeny tiny hint of sm like something in there that smells charred, but it's so light. It's nothing like around the campfire. It's nothing like, if anything, it's kind of like that tiny, tiny bit of whatever smoky flavor is in um, flavor like you eat it, but you know, that, that scent that's in um, Bonfire Beach, you know how totally light that one is? That's like the same thing. It's it's just this really light, slight undertone, but you've gotta love red hot cinnamon to love this. I'm crazy for it. Checks all of my boxes and then some. I love it. It makes me wanna eat cinnamon candy dapples. Like, I think it's fantastic. It's got spectacular packaging. Love everything about it. <laughs> that and Tinselberry are probably my most favorite. Um, but they're cinnamon, so hello. Um, only a few more left. I also made it through Harvest Blessings. Um, it's gorgeous. It's like, <sighs> it's different, but it's got the vibes of like, oh, cider mill. Um, trying to think. It's got a red hot cinnamon note in it, but hello i'm always here for that <laughs> i think that's what i love so much about the fall winter catalog is all of the tree notes and all of the um cinnamon oh my the red hot cinnamon the bakery i need to show you my um wax thing too i'll add a picture at the end because i took i got this thing from michael's and um it's got one two three four five six seven, eight drawers um, and it has wheels that you can attach to it. I didn't because my blind dog would probably run into it and run it all around the house anyway. So I just didn't put the wheels on it. But all of my whiff boxes that you saw in my stash, they all that wax fit. Plus I had room. 
Plus I had that basket that my wax was in. Excuse me. So each drawer fits like 36 bars. Um, it's a fantastic storage unit and they can all lay flat. They don't have to lay like this and have me um, lay like this and then have me tip the box. So it's like, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, Harvest Blessings is great. If you love cider mill, if you love, um, trying to think of one with cinnamon. I don't know, but when I opened my drawer, that was like the, the holiday. I was like, it smells so amazing in this drawer. <laughs> there's like cinnamon and there's like trees. And I love everything about this drawer. Um, I actually have two drawers that are holiday. So I have one drawer that's just bring back my bar. Um, I have one that's like two that are summer, two that are like, um, set of the month. So it just works out. It's fun. I just, I, this is fantastic. Um, but I mean, it's kind of more of a generic, um, I can't say it's super extra special, but it's everything I love about fall and I enjoy it. Um, it's still in the middle of my favorites. Um, and then there's another bar of vanilla blackberry because I did um, one whole one in the house plus I did one to make samples um, and then the last one that I got through was um, fresh cut daisies um, when I went to the Harry Potter festival I put this in for tail so that it would last a few days it's just so pretty it really is pretty you for me personally I it's the type of floral that I'll get a headache from so it's like a strong kind of powdery floral but it's like right at the beginning so the first couple hours if you get through that it turns into something so beautiful and it lasts for days I could still smell it when I came home so it's gorgeous um I, I that one will stay in my club a little bit I think um I, I might actually say the packaging on it. And then I got through, and this is it, um, three, um, we do testers. <laughs> so I put in apples and oats upstairs in the bathroom. It's just a weird one to put in the bathroom, but that's where, um, the one mini warmer is. That's just my bathroom. So this other half bath down here doesn't have any plugs at all, which drives me insane. So I can't even put one in there. Um, and my other little mini warmers are in the living room and I don't want them to compete. Like, I don't want to put a spice one in when I'm doing fruit or floral or whatever. So, um, I just put this in my bathroom. It's a little strange for the bathroom, but I still like apples and oats, obviously, because it's in my club. Um, and then I did slay all day and it reminded me of why I didn't put this one in my club. It's pretty. It's like a minty with a slight tree, but it's so light. Um, I couldn't really smell it that well. Um, granted it, I don't know, sometimes the testers, I feel like they do better sitting around, but, um, I don't know, Slay All Day wasn't spectacular and it reminded me not to be sad that it didn't come back because it really wasn't that strong. There are better ones in the catalog, so I felt better about that one not coming back. And then the last one, you guys... I am so grateful that this is in my club because if this was not in my club, <laughs> and I still feel passionate for those of you who didn't put it in your club, like I still feel that passionately about this one that if you missed it, I am so sorry. <laughs> like I am so sorry. I feel so bad for you because it's, I'm obsessed with this one. Cozy Fireside. Um, it's literally the best tester ever <laughs> um it's in my bathroom and for the past three days this little tester has made the upstairs smell so good because because it is like right at the top of the stairs the bathroom's like right on the left it it makes it's why i was wearing my sally shirt yesterday when i was recording because i was like oh my gosh this is literally everything i love about fall it's red hot cinnamon and cloves it's spectacular I love everything about it. If I never melted this one again, I'd have been absolutely heartbroken. This will always, to the best of my ability, always stay in my club, 100%. It's spectacular. <laughs> 
I literally love everything about it. This and Cinnamon Bear are the waxes that I would go to every year when I would find a vendor selling Scentsy. And this and Cinnamon Bear are the ones that I always grab. And just melting this, I'm like, I think this is why I'm more of a fall winter catalog girl because I love the spice. I love the cinnamon. I love the bakery more than I love the fruit, even more than the florals because I really enjoy florals <laughs> depending. Um, more than, you know, the fresh, um, even more than citrus, even though I really like citrus, I just, I'm absolutely obsessed, obsessed with spice and woods. And this is just, this little spice <laughs> category made me want fall. I'm like, bye summer, <laughs> see ya, I'm ready for fall, bring it on. This made me want to melt all of my bars. I literally love everything about it. Cozy Fireside. <laughs> it's still going in my bathroom and it still smells amazing. And I love, I absolutely love that bar. So that's all I've been warming recently. That's my empties. I'm almost, almost at the end of my clothesline that I got originally. That was my first Laundry Love bundle. Um, because I was, you know, going, ooh, I want to try this one. And ooh, I want to try this one. And ooh, let's try this one. And so I just never focused on just one set. So I have partials of a bunch. So um, I'm almost at the end of that one, but um, I'll be cashing out a party soon um, and um, getting my um, my rewards and stuff. So stay tuned um, and um, you'll, you'll hear from me soon. And um, everyone have a fantastic Saturday. Like and subscribe. Um, comment below and what have you been warming and I'm starting something fun and I'll include a video at the end of my new storage box that I'm absolutely in love with. US dollars, it was like $70 from um, Michael's and I did try to use a coupon and it didn't work so I'm just like it's worth 70 bucks to me um, and so I just I treated myself to this whole storage unit that I can keep all the wax looking gorgeous there in one container and it's enough for the amount of wax that I buy for now. So, um, I don't know, hopefully I don't go too crazy, but yep. Stay tuned, you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I love having conversations with you guys. Um, I just, I mean, I appreciate, more, appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Um, just the conversations that we have, you guys, um, when people make me feel bad, like you guys, like, lift my spirits and I just I have to thank you like um I wish we could be friends and in, in, you know here <laughs> you could all move to Warren <laughs> PA here and um we could be friends but everyone have a fantastic Sunday bye